Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next session of Vault of the Void. My name is Dad Radish, and I am your vegetable father. So, um, yeah, I picked up this game, uh, Vault of the Void. It is a deck building roguelike. Um, kind of most famous example of this, I think, uh, is Slay the Spire, um, a game that I've put probably hundreds of hours into um, across uh, the PC and then the Nintendo Switch versions. Um, it's a lot for <laughs> for someone with uh, two little kids. Um, yeah, so uh, I like deck building roguelikes. I play a ton of card games. Um, one of the remarkable kind of like backstory pieces of Slay the Spire is that the creators of that game uh, were operators of a uh, Netrunner forum. Android Netrunner being um, a uh, cyberpunk um, hacking card game where one player is a corporation, the other player is a runner, and you have to, like, uh, as the runner, you have to steal agendas. You have to steal specific cards out of the, uh, the the other player's hand or their deck. And anyway, super innovative, interesting gameplay. Um, they, they turn around and make Slay the Spire, um, and uh, which is obviously a, a kind of genre-defining um, in terms of, like, roguelike cards. Um, great, great card game. As I like to say... Card game, card game, ass card game things. Um, and by that I mean just when you play a lot of card games, it's just nice to, to feel certain things, like to draw cards or to get a combo off, have certain cards uh, come together, have a giant pool of resources that um, the card game kind of like by by default doesn't really want you to have, that kind of thing. Anyway, um, Vault of the Boys popped up as kind of a uh, an interesting inheritor of a lot of those ideas. There have been a lot of games to try um, the roguelike elements, like it, introducing other pieces, but this is one that I feel like is so mechanically, so far, has been like kind of mechanically, um, just super mechanically interesting, and it hasn't done the thing of throwing away things from Slay the Spire. Um, really, it's it's kind of like leaping ahead in some ways and iterating in other ways. So, I don't know, yeah, let's go ahead and hop in, and I'll, I'll continue this run that I started um, a little bit ago, and we'll just keep going, so gonna check on some things everything's looking healthy uh okay great let's keep going okay so this should look kind of familiar um we're making our way through this map and we're gonna fight these mobs on the way um to a boss uh one thing that i think is like it's a small thing but it's super cool is um you can mark uh, the stuff that you want and don't want. And the other thing that people have really, I think like people who like this game, one of the things, that the, the innovations that they think is cool is that um, you can see what your card rewards are going to be. So you can, you can, okay, the way this is explained is that it, um, it kind of eliminates the role of um, RNG or random number generation. You don't feel like you're sort of getting um, screwed by getting a bunch of worthless cards. Um, I'm not sure I totally, I totally believe that. I mean, there's still RNG and at some level when you start to scope out, there's RNG and whether this is a useful card or not or what sequence they're in. Um, regardless, I do think it's interesting. And I do think, um, what something that's also cool is you can plan out your way through the, through the, the map. So I'll do an example of that here. I think it's kind of the natural way. I have no, I, I'd have no idea what this Guardian is. Maybe after some time I'll understand what, what it does mechanically. But um, I'm playing kind of a rogue character, uses the bleed um, kind of combat effect, so um, this looks like a fine card to take. Um, I don't have a lot of overcharge cards. That's not like a, um, a, a, a keyword that I'm kind of like uh, super interested in. So I'll go ahead and hit green here and I could hit, hit red here if I wanted to say like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Um, so gain energy for each bleeding enemy, that is super awesome. 
definitely gonna want to tr try and get that. Uh, let's see, hidden blades. That's not really part of my build. Um, block, block, block. Combo is not really part of my build, but I can I can make use of it. But I think that if we're coming down this way, it might be a bit of a tougher uh, tougher path to get back up here. It might be doable actually. Something that I'm kind of not I don't have an intuitive sense of yet is if you look here, you can see that. Um, when I make this move, these uh, hexes that are darkened underneath, they're going to disappear. So, the, so those are some of the choices you're making. The room kind of crumbles behind you a little bit. So let's see what else is happening here. Uh, let's see. This seems okay. Let's see, this is a... Uh, Legendary card. It's also an elite fight. I'm not sure if it's called legendary. Anyway, purple card frame. It's um, it's special. Uh, let's see. 18 damage to all enemies, and you get uh, that's pretty cool effect. Three is a little expensive, uh, but we'll see. We'll see kind of uh, mechanically how this game kind of plays with energy, gives you more options. Uh, ooh, that is like a super good card for me. This has been kind of uh, sustenance is a block card, but it applies bleed, so you kind of like increment your way towards the the goal here. Um, I think it's okay. I can try and like come up around this. I think uh, weak. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is the path I'm going to try to take. I'll take this and then go here. Hopefully, it doesn't close me out of that. Hopefully, I didn't have to skip here. Uh, what I, what can I think of as so? Uh, I go here those two will disappear if i go here it's not touching it okay yeah i can do this path so yeah let's go ahead and give it a go all right fire bugs fire brings light and light is not welcome here denying it these screeching insects capture the flame and lock it away in their smoldering hives fight tips inflicts high amounts of burning and the strength is determined by your level of burning okay so uh, this number is the damage that they'll, they will try to inflict and this is the number of um this is the number of times that they will, will swing, basically. So this will be three damage one time. This is one damage one time. Um, this is the reward. Let's go ahead and start the battle. Okay, so it is... Already this is kind of like a complicated card frame uh, or card layout situation. Um, there are a lot of mechanics happening. So let's kind of overview them a little bit. This is energy. This is a special spell. You get one sort of special ability that's on some kind of cooldown. Um, the way the game kind of works is there's 14 incoming threat, meaning if they all get to attack, they're going to um, swing and then stack their damage in this zone. And that damage, I get in the next turn, I get a chance to mitigate that damage by blocking. So um, that's, I, yeah, that's just sort of the way to think about it. Um, Okay, you get two energy around. You can also gain energy by holding the right mouse button on a card, and then you kind of uh, you purge it. So you pop that card, it goes to your discard pile, and then it adds an energy. Um, so you can sort of set yourself up for, for bigger future turns if you're kind of like cool with what you've achieved in this turn. So here's a good example. I've rigged this card. Um, uh, no, I'll explain that later. But anyway, I'll apply five bleed to the enemies. Let's. Um, I'm going to start with that. That's kind of like my opener. What does Scorch do? Burning two, vulnerable two. Can't really take anything down in one go, I think. so. Well, maybe a thing to explain here is that um, I have this Sanguine Shell. It's block 20. So I can, I can prep to the turn where I'm going to use this to block this 14 incoming threat, right? To wholly block this incoming threat. In the meantime, until we get to that, since since the other thing we do with this card is trigger all bleed effects, um, I want to try and like stack as much bleed as I can before I get there, right? So let's go ahead and we'll pop this blade storm. Okay, hits everyone. Um, this is probably this is a decent damage card to sort of get on. One more thing I should explain. Um, this bar is the battle progress bar. So each key creature you kill will add points to the battle progress bar. Once it's filled, they'll stop respawning. So I can kill this Pyramite, um, and it gets me part of the way there, but it can get replaced by another creature. I assume another, 
Let me think about how this has happened in the past. I assume it'll just be another Pyramite. Maybe there's other rules about, uh, about the encounter at play, and I haven't haven't seen it, but I'm pretty sure that's sort of how it works. On the other hand, this is sort of like the main mob here, the Pyre. So if you clear this mob, then 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 you're you'll still have to kill these other cards. You have to clear the room, as it were, um, but um, you're not gonna have to do it anymore. So all right, let's keep up with this. Um, all I have left are the damage cards. Um, Go ahead and stack a little more up here. Um, I'm gonna gain two, so I'll be four in the next round. Let's just go ahead and like, oh, this will hit everybody. Let's just go ahead and deal this damage. Energy carries over round to round and your hand carries over round to round. So um, yeah, let's go into the next round with four. Um, I'm gonna purge that card. Let's go into the next round with uh, four health, so. Oof. Okay, so they took their bleed effects. Um, their frenzy is equal to uh, one plus your burning value. They deal with a lot of burning, so now all of a sudden they're huge. So um, what I have to, to block here is um, I actually don't know why. Oh, it's eleven or it's seventeen damage because I have vulnerable. Um, so it's it's gonna multiply in the in the next uh, what. If I don't mitigate this with block in this turn, that's what I'm going to receive. My, my health will diminish. So, um, I can get there. I'll play Sanguine Shell. Uh, you can see the number ticks down because I've, I've applied block against those stacks. Um, it's applied more bleed. Um, it triggered the bleed effects. Um, I won't be able to get rid of them the next turn, so I maybe should worry about that. Discharge and fix burning too. This is going to add burning also. Purging cards reduces burning. So let's see. This the <laughs> tool tip is so huge. I can't <laughs> can't read the effects on them. Anyway, there's a little bit of jank there. Um, okay, let's see. This won't quite get there. I can purge more to get a little bit of a break on the amount of incoming threat. Um, but I want these cards. I'll just, I'll just get rid of one. Drop, drop it down a little bit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to need this block next turn. So they're going to take any damage. That's them dealing sort of stacks of damage that are kind of going on here. Alright, so this one will die at the end of its next round, not before dealing, not before putting 10 damage onto my stack. So that's pretty huge. Um, let's see, what do we need to do here? If I can get rid of some of these guys, I think I should. This will help a ton. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So, uh, I'll, this is a good time to explain what happens with these, like, socketed cards. So, you can see in the card frame there's this, there's a little, like, um, gap here. Um, where it's usually empty and sometimes there's a socket in it. So these are void void gems, uh, void stones rather, and uh, they add a card effect. And so this is sometimes kind of kind of just whatever, um, like it adds block uh, to the card or whatever. Uh, but you can get some cool stuff like this. So now playing this card, it'll give me five volatile lighted ups. Volatile means that it only lasts till the end of the round, so I have or the end of his turn, so I have to use it right now. Um, and uh, volatile, uh, that's what volatile means. I get five of them, but it increases rage, and rage uh, deals more damage. So if I pop this, um, I have these cards. They deal more damage than they ordinarily would because of rage. Um, they cost one, so I'll probably have to purge something to, to get more value out of this. But um, this is just exactly what I need right now. It also overcharges me, so my next round I'll have a ton of energy. So let's just go ahead and get this here. This is eight, eight, eight. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't want to take that damage, so we'll go to. Oops. Go there. Let's use it or lose it. They're volatile, so I might as well. Um, let's see. This is a, kind of a very basic block card. Don't need to do that. Do I want pry and. Ooh, I've done no mitigation this turn. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. So I can block eight, block five, apply three bleed, 
ghost. Right. Uh, yeah, I think I should just go for the from shadow here. Block as much as I can. Um, okay. So there you go. That that stack that was left that got applied. It we got more pyramites because I hadn't got I hadn't fill, filled the battle progress bar yet. Um, let's see. Mm, okay. I think I can. If I can block three and then try and mitigate the rest. Uh, okay. I think. All right. Need to block. It's four incoming threats. Not going to be too bad, hopefully. They're, yeah, they're not adding. Are they adding any bleed? Not adding any bleed right now. Um, these are all their status symbols. They took a lot of status effects because I have this emergency button, which takes up from zero all the way up to four. When it reaches four, the enemies get this sort of stack of status effects, which should be kind of familiar. Vulnerable, they suffer more damage. Weak, they um, reduces AP. I think that's this number. Or is it this number? No, it's this number. It's the number of times they swing, basically. Um, and then slow reduces, uh, no, this is frenzy, this is AP. So reduces the damage, this reduces how many times they can attack. So um, a good set of buffs to slow the game down um, if if it's running long. And it's all it's gonna run long a lot with this build because of bleed takes a while to sort of build up and, and overrun the enemy here, so. Okay, so I'll end the turn. Maybe I should have tossed this to have energy and to get better draw, or to have like a more complete draw. Uh, not sure. Let's see. So, but I need a source of of bleed here. So, so we're gonna block that. Okay. We're gonna deal um, extra damage there. Um, let's apply more. Try and get past this sooner. All right. I think we're okay. We're gonna use this parry next turn, most likely. Still have overcharge going. Uh, this will be good. I can deal five to all enemies. Okay, so now that I've explained void stones, this green void stone is rigged. It shows up in your opening hand or um, when your deck is reshuffled. Uh, this applies bleed to all enemies. So this, I always want to see this. You know, as soon as it's available, basically, um, sets me up. So let's see. In this case. Well, it's a source of it. It's a way to add bleed, so I think I should do it here. Um, it's an easy way to get past that. Let's see. I need to mitigate something. Yeah, let's just get, get ahead of this a little bit. I'm going to take a little damage. Get five there. And hopefully, I can close this out. I'll need to block. I need to apply some. Deal some damage. It's gonna attack, that's fine. It'll add seven threat, but then it'll um, die from bleed at the end of the round. So shouldn't don't need to worry about it. So it's applying those cards, that's not damage yet. Alright, we made it. Um uh, the souls are essence is a currency, souls are a currency, you'd use them in different vendors, give you different things and upgrade points, upgrade your cards. Um, this seems really useful. Um, I can upgrade things, so you have your deck has to be 20 cards, and then you have your backpack, which is where, obviously, um, other cards show up. I think I'm really going to want the Scattershot card. Um, deals more damage and applies more bleed. I think it... Let's see. I feel like I was missing some block there in the last round. I didn't. I kind of didn't have enough, enough blocking strategies, so let's see if... Uh, block 8... What am I doing to block here? Having this be block 12 is a much better deal for how much it costs. It was kind of, it didn't, didn't feel like enough sometimes. Uh, hmm. All right. And I want 
to take any of these block cards. I don't feel like my my takes this this particular well. Well, I I don't know. I the bleed mechanic I think can get out of hand, but I don't think I've done the things to to kind of get it out of hand. Okay, apply. Yeah, I think I gotta put it on. So tempted to put it on here, but I don't think it's what my problem is. So let's put it on one of these. This is a crumb shadow. All right. Let's keep up with our path here. Band of Raiders, waning remnants of the long-devoured gods of war and thunder. Once the proud warriors delved deep, seeking to reclaim these forgotten runic sites, but twisted men soon shaped them into parodies of their once righteous selves. Fight tips, these creatures will get stronger for every zero cost card you play and have the ability to gain high amounts of fortitude. I don't remember what that feature is, but let's let's learn by doing. Okay, fortitude. Any damage a creature suffers will first be taken from the fortitude value. That's a little bit like armor. Okay. Uh so fortitude equal to 5% of their max HP. 50%, 70%, 30%. Um, the pillar, it'll double all fortitude gain, takes half damage from bleed. Well, mm hmm. Okay. Is this the time to do this? Oh, this is the passive. It gains a frenzy for each zero cost card play, and then reduce frenzy to two. Hmm. Okay. So maybe I do this now. I only have to play this once. Well, no, this is what I want to do. I'll do that first. Oh, this rune priest seems super annoying. Come back if I. No, I think I have to like. Do that so I can get more. Adds weak. Yeah, three incoming threats, not bad. I think we want more bleed before we trigger this. Um, there will be a time for this, I think. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go with this. Ooh. have to block that very much, but I can apply three bleed, so might as well, I guess. Should we take the direct damage or trigger? So we trigger 21 bleed here, or... Nah, yeah, we'll just do that. Okay. If I play this, what happens? Click hex one. I don't know what hex, hex is. Instead of triggering, the next card you play will be discarded and not played. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. So this next thing goes away. Um, probably. I can trigger this after he goes. Uh, I need to block the 13, so that'll do. So probably this. Uh, we'll take this. this after this, I think. Hopefully. Uh, oh, another Rune Priest. I, you know, somehow I didn't think that that was going to become a thing. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So... Play this. Yeah, let's play all of this. Uh, 
we'll get close. Okay, let's fly wait here. Get a bunch of these. I shouldn't care about the inscribed words, I think. Because this will, yeah, let's not care about that. Let's actually put it around here. Because it takes a little bleed damage. Can I purge this? Yeah, I can't purge it. Makes sense, can't purge volatile cards. All right, so six fortitude. Wow, this doesn't, uh, usually most status effects like this decay, most buffs decay, but this isn't gonna decay, I guess, so. Uh, this is interesting. How am I gonna kill this guy? All right, well. Let's go ahead and go with the direct damage. Um, yeah, it's okay. Looks like it only lasts lasts for a turn. I guess that's okay. I guess that's how that works then. Didn't take any damage, perfect victory. You get an essence bonus. This is the most like gold, I suppose. Um, all right. Keep going. All right, lacerations. I'm super excited about this um, effect. Yeah. Dragon Mother. Separated from her young, the twisted halls of the vault have become a source of frustration for this ancient creature. Her frustration has manifested into rage inflicted upon anything that moves inflicts a, a burning and vulnerable and limits the amount of block that can be gained from any individual source. Hmm. Okay. Spells ring heat. Any block plate is capped at a maximum of eight. All right. Uh, deals burning, or the attack it's going to use is an, it's called Inferno. Deals burning six, suffer vulnerable two. All right. So we'll apply bleed there. No adds. I think we'll just go log here. We'll receive nine damage. It's a good thing we are not overly dependent. Um, oh, this is my, I think this is the upgraded from shadow that would normally block 12 and it's being like limited here, but uh, let's see. Um, let's go with this plan. You have to use this, just use this way to um, add three. Uh, Alright, we have a couple more ways to gain block next time. 18 damage. Ooh, what? Wow. 26. Because of burning. <laughs> Alright, well. So we gotta do this. I'm just in full mitigation mode. Uh, so we got that. Bye. Right. We did as much as we could here. We're waiting for Bleed to do more. And yeah, I mean, we only need the last one more round, I think. Um, let's see. Ah, if I can get. Bleed trigger. I think we're good. Made it. All right. What happens if we upgrade lacerations? It would only cost one. And it's rigged. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Put it in the deck. All right. Let's see. There's my backpack. All right, we gotta take something out. Yeah, let's. I think there's too many triggers for bleed it out. We really only want one of those. We we get a version of that that we prefer in Sanguine Shell, I think. Um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and it's gotta look like that, I think. Okay, what I get here. Blue Void Stone. Draw one card, discard one card, and uh, block four. Okay. Mm. 
This is kind of a very... I've been struggling to figure out where to put this. Maybe on this. So on a turn, I don't know, it costs two. It's kind of like on a turn that you trigger the target. I guess it's also, you don't want to put it on an expel card. Expel cards uh, are removed from the game after you use them. You probably want that to stick around. Hmm. What is this? I don't understand what, what this... Anyway. Um... Draw one, discard one. Um, looting, as we call it from uh, Magic the Gathering. Parry. When I'm parrying, is that when I want to see what else I can get? Maybe, because it's a little bit like these blocks are usually not quite enough, so you're kind of like digging for more block. That seems okay to me. That seems halfway reasonable. All right, and then just adding block. Or do I just put it on another parry? Make it a make a parry better. I feel like uh, there are more degenerate things. Uh, hmm, no, that's weird. Oh, was that the? I don't know. Sorry, <laughs> I looked at the the screen flashed at me and it looked like um it was maybe a display glitch but maybe that was just the effect of um of socketing a thing <laughs> uh, all right let's keep on with this uh, i'm just gonna hold on to this maybe it'll become more obvious later all right move here nothing at the start of your turn discard uh well i, I can only move here right so i don't think All right, the taxidermist. With needle and thread, no corpses left wasted when they can so easily we can, they can be so easily woven into such beautiful sculptures that can be admired for all darkness. Fight tips will fight with a high will attack with high frenzy, affected by the number of cards in your hand. If the fight prolongs, banes will become an issue. Banes. Oh. A well, bane is a type of debuff card that goes into your deck, I think. And so, um Okay. In theory, you could change cards. You could change cards um, to adapt to this, but I don't feel like I have like a huge card pool, so and I don't really. Anyway, still kind of learning, so I feel like I'm not making super optimal decisions and plays here, but that's where we are. All right, horrific experience. Okay, spare parts passive. The friends is equal to the one plus the number of cards. Oh wow. Hmm. Okay, it's inflicting a bane. It's, this is improving the unholy creations. Um, when the taxidermist is killed, it'll increase its frenzy. So they're choosing to do Banes now, but if it was gonna attack, it'd be like 30. That's pretty unbelievable. Um, this is interesting. Oh, so my creations. Each time an unholy creation is killed, this creature will increase its frenzy by two. So you can't just keep grinding away at these, these guys. Um, okay, well, let's get to it. We'll do that. We want to see this effect more often. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think we just gotta keep trying to take him down. The bleed increases instead of decrease. It ticks down by one, so. Mm. 84 incoming threat. What am I supposed to do about Hmm. This is like the... Hmm. There were these and... There were encounters like this in Slay This Fire 2, which are sort of a... Do you have enough X encounter? And uh, what is this testing me for? Do you have enough block? Like, can you mitigate 84 block? I think it's more of a test of can you kill a creation in one go? Probably. That's my best, like, guess about it. Um... Well, I mean, I got a lot of block cards, so I could just hang on. Uh, I'm just going to hang on. And let's see if I can act, how much block I can actually generate in a turn. <laughs> All right. We'll see. <laughs> All right. This. And then this. 
And then... Uh, draw one, discard one. What's in here? Sanguine Shell, maybe. Or I can't. I couldn't be able to afford it anyway. But even with purging. So... This is same block, but applies bleed. So we'll do this. We'll purge these and do that. Okay, down to 35. Still, I think that's the most damage I've taken in a single turn. I mean, I haven't played this game that much, but... Okay. Can I win with this? I don't think so. Not quite yet. Three, five, I mean trigger all trigger all bleed, trigger targets bleed. I can get this to thirty-five. Um okay, if I can get to I think I can win with this. Let's give it a go. We'll do this. We need to block a lot anyway, and then we'll trigger. Cool. It's not winning, but it is What's the bane here? I need to pay more attention to what Ah, it's you that's a useless card that goes in to the discard pile. What does it say? This card's useless. It's a card of shame. Shame. Uh yeah, okay. They're just negative cards. Alright. Cool. Oof. Take a look at that card. I, was, I suspect... Okay, you can make it rigged. That's the main thing by upgrading it. Ooh. How much would this help me? I love the idea of getting that kind of value, but... Whoa, if you do this, you can apply bleed 2 to all enemies. Mm, I like that a lot. Let's do it. I feel like I'll purge that kind of card a lot. This is not that interesting, but I can upgrade a card here. On the other hand, I takes me... Well, can I actually dodge the Elite? I think I can dodge the Elite by going down this way. And then what, do I care about either of these? Not really. All right. I think I gotta take this fight anyway. Servants of the Void. These wretches serve as an embodiment of the Void's voice. These nattering things are abhorrent. Twisted body and soul by the horrors... By the horrors, their whispers. Mm, horrors, other whispers. Okay. Fight tips. High spike damage with some creatures hitting high frenzy while some others hit with high AP. Kill order is very important. Mm, okay. I think there's another test of me. Let's see. Health potion. Exploding bottle. Uh, let's do the exploding bottle. I don't think we'll feel bad about that. So when you add a potion, um, it shows up as a card. And it's just... You basically automatically play it, I think. Deal 10 damage times... Wait. X? Eagle to your current floor. Okay, I guess. And that, I think that's this 21. Anyway. Alright. We'll attack. Taunt. Must be the target of attack cards. All creatures will gain 1 AP. Okay. So what is my... What actually is my kill order? This is where all the threat's coming from. Probably the priest. Or the knight, just because you have to. Okay. Uh, let's see. Play order here. One, two, three. I think that's it. Yeah. We'll go after the priest first. So... Wish you could do better better than that, I think. But um Alright. So now we'll have to attack the knight. But at least we've applied bleed and it's increasing, so Sanguine Shell will have to save for another another round. Let's see. 
is an attack card? It's an ability. It's not an attack card, so I get to do it, which is pretty cool. I'm going to need to purge at least one card to have enough to play Sanguine Shell. And I think um, the attack card might not be that useful. Uh, let's see what else is in here. I think I'd rather keep the parry. Mm, let's just do this in advance. Because it's 22, so... This, we got a block two. Uh, I mean, let's do it with this. Probably here. Or here, because we have to. I think I can block this amount of threat, usually. So. Do I want to do this damage now? I think there's a pretty good. How yeah, much? 16 incoming. I think I'm going to need that um, block next round, so let's do that. All right, let's see. Trigger 24 bleed. It's an attack, because we have taunt, he has taunt, so I have to attack him. I have to mitigate 16, so I can do that with all of these. Okay, start with that. Just draw a lot of damage. Yeah, I'll just go with that. A lot of that. Okay, 11, 6. Hmm. Yeah, from there. Uh, didn't count it out perfectly. We'll just try to get ahead on this guy. Don't want no, yeah, I can't pop that right now. And I don't want to purge this right now either. Yeah, I think it'd be too useful to kind of burst someone down. Still got another round of these debuffs, so I can kind of stay ahead of it a little bit, I think. Alright. This was 8 damage. 8 times 5. It'll be, uh, what? 40? I think that's right. Oh, that seems pretty good. Okay, so to do that, I would need to... No, hold on. But if I apply this bleed... It'll be enough already. I don't think I'll be able to block this 8, so I just have to take the 8. How do I want to do this? Do this, since the bleed is close enough anyway. Alright. Six incoming threat. Do I want to play this now? Okay, we're just going to reverse that. Take the eight damage. Alright, this we can do. Well, let's see. Okay, that's a little slow, but. Green Frenzy, do an attack. Right. Upgrade, upgrade. Not still, not enough block. Maybe I just trade one of these for another parry. combo would actually be good in this. So a combo will... Your combo meter makes any card labeled swift at the bottom trigger combo number of times. So I have some swift stuff I could make. Yeah. Maybe just one combo would make it a little less slow for me to like do what I'm doing here. So I'm going to do that. That being one of my slowest cards, for sure. Yep. 
should be comp adding combos should add block. Yeah, that seems good. Where is it? Oops. Yeah. Quickness. Add block. Alright, I'll probably use a potion in the next one. Thinking of uh, ignoring this. Uh, okay, it might be good to be able to buy things. Okay, I can afford a lot here. Let's see. Another lacerations. Reduce threat to zero. Ice wall. That's pretty cool. Okay, this is like one of the one of those um, one of those cards. Those um, kind of checks gonna deal 84 damage in a turn um same thing maybe threat stack won't trigger trigger okay so i think it's a toss-up between these two um and where my yawn counter is yawn number one so we're getting a little closer to ending this here in fact i probably should anyway let's keep going I like the idea of reducing threat to zero better and can buy the upgraded version. Block 10 for a purge. That seems like that'll work a lot of the time when I don't feel like playing four. So yeah, let's get the upgraded version of this. It's all of our money. Can't buy a void stone after that. Uh, probably can't buy, or you can buy new spells. Yeah, can't afford that. Oh, I have another spell. I didn't realize that. Discard your hand and inflict five damage to all creatures for each card discarded. Uh, hmm. My backstab is more useful than that. Okay. I think. Okay, there's an upgrade here. There's you get a potion there. Um. This is a block card with combo, so I think this kind of fits in with some of the things that I feel like I need better. The Unholy Court. In the light prayers uttered to the divine, here there is no such concept. The spirits will know of nothing else but their twisted master, their unholy king. Okay. There's a lot of them. So maybe this is where being able to... Uh, Get that a little extra reach to inflict five damage on each would be better. Okay. Well, don't want to be stubborn about it. Okay. Oh, here we go. So there's two on the side here, but it'd be, there was one more option there. There was a courtesan option. So 12 incoming threat. Oh, I forgot to put that um, ice wall in. Anyway. All right. When defeated, five banes are added. What's yours, man? Top card of your deck is discarded. Banes are limited. 99? Yeesh. 60 plus this is still just not, or still is not everything. <laughs> still is not the whole battle progress bar. Um, okay. So this is the way we want to open it up, just to keep everything um, rising. Yeah, we'll purge here. Okay, we're set up to do a little bit of blocking next round. That's what I discarded. I'll have to discard the top card, or discard a card. Backup doesn't get me to where I want to go right now. Okay, so this is uh, three for five plus there's um, lead added, so we're just going to do that. Then 12 incoming threat. This is unliving, takes less damage from bleed. So maybe this is the way we go. I don't know. Maybe getting the damage from this is just like whatever, right? So we should do this. This is ready. I don't know when I'm going to want to discard my whole hand. Well, when it when it's going to definitely kill something, I suppose. So, 
five per, so four. Okay, wait, I need to think about this a little bit. I want to keep this. Need to block 12. Ah. So I have four, so I can do this, this, and this. Yeah, that's okay. So this would be 20. So we're getting close to a time where doing this might make sense. All right, so we'll start with this here. Yeah, we'll do that. So we want to go ahead and deal this amount of damage. I guess we can get rid of this guy. Fury will increase friends of one. Yeah, okay, it's a good time to get rid of it, I suppose. What's in here? Yeah, let's kind of dig for some of our better stuff. I have no fear stacks. You can deal 20 damage across the board with this. Twenty plus twenty-six bleed damage is forty-six, so we're not quite to, to beating this yet. Ah. Well, this is actually a good time to have twenty-three on the stack, so let's. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Without, don't need to think about that too much. Um, Wondering if we could win by well, I think okay, we can defeat the unholy king by next by doing this. Okay. I'm not taking any damage yet. You dare kill the Oh, that was a bad time to get all those banes and I have to actually shuffle my deck. Huh. Ah. Alright. Four damage. That wait, uh no. Okay. I don't need to do this yet. No. Mm, yeah, might as well. There are all the banes. Up oh, no okay. Well this is the time to do this, I guess, because we can just get we can make use of the veins. Or... Yeah, let's do it. I think that's fine. What combos here? This... 18 incoming threat, I'll get to... Let's see. Draw one, discard one. I should do this. Um, 14. If I play this twice, um, it'll apply six more bleed, and so we'll get there after that. Yeah, okay. some of these deck changes and then I think I will leave this for the next session. Uh, okay. So what did we want to do here? Filter? And there's a filter. Uh, block. Ice wall. Uh, bide. Okay. Does bide replace a from shadow? Yeah, I think so. Ice wall. Replaces what? A draw blood? Throat? That's kind of what I'm hoping 
to that combo benefits off of. Oh, this is swift. I didn't realize that. That's pretty. That can. That's pretty to generate a little bit of combo. Um. This is too much. No, I, don't know. I think I'll replace the drop one. There are other ways to kind of rush. Have fewer of these, but have them be more impactful by by trying to have combo when it when that time when that happens. So, all right, thanks for joining me for the session. Um, happy to talk more about this game. Um, I think it's so far it's proven to be pretty interesting. Um, cool design sensibility. Developers in Australia, I think. So, um, okay. Anyway, take care, everybody. See you next time.